Alright, this is WWJ Whipping with Joe. Anyway, <clears throat> we were field testing these Daiwas here. Now, I don't know what they were, but I had, I had five of them. I field tested five of these. And um, we, the only one that's due out right now is the Fuego. The Fuego is a winning parts. Um, <clears throat> First one we sent in was a Laguna LT5000. This one here is made in Vietnam. I was surprised actually. But uh, this Laguna here is the LT5000C. It's 31 hours before failure. It's 10 ounces, 5 to 1 ratio, 36 inches per crank, and 26 pounds of drag. And I never had so much fun on any wheel except this one. <laughs> got a Barracuda, got a Ninui, yeah, some other fish, uh, got a Kagami, and then I had a, a battle with a Eagle Ray. The first battle Eagle Ray. And uh, and, this, and then I had a second battle of the, the, the other race. I think one was about 10 minutes long. You gotta watch the video. Uh, I'll post it in, in, in this uh, in the description box. But uh, I'll, I'll had uh, Eagle Ray one and Eagle Ray two. Um, anyways, cranking rough. It wasn't cranking right. Um, so what they did was uh, um, they repaired it and sent it back to me. It took around two weeks from the time I sent it in and get it back. So uh, let's see what we got here. So it says warranty repair, adjust rotation. So it must be adjust the rotation of the of the of the um of uh, not the spool but the uh what's this here? This portion the rotor. So it says the adjust the rotation, it's on the warranty, adjust the rotation. So it's smooth and what happened was when they sent it back to me um if you didn't check it you wouldn't have known but this is one of the first that I checked. I took it apart like so and I was missing the screw here I was missing the screw right on the bottom to hold it not that not there I was uh, I was missing the screw which is right this guy here right here so I called him up and uh, they sent it back to me they sent the screw back in and uh, I installed it so now it's complete um, what I did was I used the part of 40 pound here to put in another reel and that's why it's half here so I'll put another 40 pound in here and then see how it goes but anyway so that is the Laguna LT 5000 C this one here went for for about 50 bucks 55 dollars uh, the most inexpensive reel out of 80 that I feel tested and you know what this thing gave me so much fun <laughs> it gave me so much fun I mean you, I mean if you're not gonna fight no Eagle Reeves you'll be fine with this reel I'm serious I mean we can land a GT with this guy here too, but uh, so uh, it, it's uh, it's a good reel, uh, so I would recommend this guy right here. If you want to just play around, fresh water would be good to go too. But the guy is using this for salt water, so LT means light and tough, they call it. So that was Laguna. So we got this one back in the bag, we'll put this back in the bag inside here. So that's done. Then the second one we sent in was the Legalis. The Legalis is the LT6000D, 27 hours before failure, cranking rough. Weighs in at 11 ounces, 5 to 1 ratio, 36 inches crank, and 26 pounds of drag. No big fish on this guy. The small, the small stuff. Small stuff, small stuff. Small stuff, nice color though. Okay, if you notice, you got a tab here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what they did. Smooth, and why is it smooth? <laughs> Let's see what they did. Replaced real under warranty. Yay, yay, yay. Good job. Good job, Daiwa. I wish they'd give me a brand new spool, though. Then I would have two spools. But they gave me my spool back. What do you think? What do you guys think? Think they should have given me just another spool? <laughs> the other companies did. Uh, Daiwa is the only one that gives back my spool back. 
but uh, anyways but uh, this is not a good reel uh, very uh, inexpensive actually these reels here wasn't that much but uh, so that's a little bigger than the 5000 of course uh, so that was the Ligalis LT6000 you know, we'll put this guy away cool huh? And the next one we sent in was the Ballistic, Ballistic LT6000D. Filled after 34 hours. It was cranking rough soon when I got it. And yeah, it was just greedy. Like, you know, when you crank them, it's greedy. You know, so, uh, didn't like the feel of it, but I thought it would disappear. Unfortunately, it did not. It did not disappear. Still stayed there. So, I thought that since they had 30 something hours that they would have disappeared unfortunately it did not so well, I, 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 uh, I didn't receive this all at once actually it's just uh, I was off island so I didn't get to uh, check these out so we're gonna do this guy here this is the hardest part I'm not sure why to do this guy here like so but it's not easy to turn this guy in here I'm not sure why but it's not easy to crank this guy in Mm. It's not easy to crank it in. Take some doing for sure. Okay. Oh, go in. Okay. Anyway, this is so. This is the ballistic, and this is what they did on the ballistic here. What they did was they repaired as necessary, so I don't know what was wrong with it. Um, anyway, um, so they don't they didn't say what they did. They just said repaired as necessary. I'm not sure what they did. So that was the ballistic. So we got the ballistic down, and now we're gonna go and get this guy here. The other one here is, is the other guy here is the. BG so and all this came in within two weeks after sending it in so. uh. okay we got that list again there okay next one here is a BGMQ Monocoque 6000D H, which would be H Disney, the high speed, filled in 27 hours. It was the same thing as a ballistic, it was cranking gritty. Cranking gritty. So, anyway, this guy here is 50 ounces, 5.7 to 1 ratio, 40 inches per crank, and 26 pounds of drag. They all basically got 26 pounds of drag, it's incredible actually. So anyway, we're gonna see what they did on this. It has the same thing as the ballistic, how it's winded in here. Okay, so this is the BG MQ. Smooth. Now, what did they do? I don't know. Uh, this repair is necessary again, right? Warranty repair. Oh, what they did was adjust the bearing, clean and lube. So that's what they did. So adjusted the bearing, whatever that adjust the bearing means. Anyway, so all these were replaced under warranty, and like I said, came within two weeks. So that will be f that finishes my uh, field test for the uh, divers. The Fuego is in still in repair. Like I said, that one is awaiting parts, as far as I know. Uh, they haven't come back to tell me when it's supposed to be done. But uh, so I'll share that with you. So now what we've got is uh, that we've done with these reels. 
If you're a Daiwa fan, by all means, uh, the ballistic, well, all these are, you, 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 are, are uh, pretty good wheels, I think. I wish they would last longer than that, but they had basically the same problem. Where it's uh, crank and greedy, for the most part. The only one that gave me the best was the Laguna, and they gave me a whole bunch of um, excitement on that guy right here, right here, this guy right here. So only I thought I'd share that with you. Yeah, so um, that's a Daiwa series. We're currently going to go over and work on the um, Stratic, Shimano Stratic, and also the new Spheros, the 2020 Spheros that came out. So uh, again, this is WWJ Whipping with Joe. Daiwa fans. Laguna, Legales, Ballistic, Fuego, BJ.